When planting new ulu trees in an orchard or agroforest, it is essential to consider how you will protect your trees as they grow. The two primary challenges for farmers in Hawaii are battling fast growing weeds and preventing damage from feral ungulates, especially pigs. These two issues are the most common causes of mortality among young breadfruit trees. In this video, we share several low-cost methods for managing weeds and preventing ungulate damage for young ulu trees. Mowing. Without some form of weed management, weeds and grasses will overtake young trees and suppress their growth, and can even cause tree mortality if left unchecked. If mowing, we recommend mowing at least once per month, and more often if your farm is located in a wet area. Aiming to mow every two weeks is a great target. Mulch. In addition to mowing, consider spreading mulch around young trees to help suppress weeds and provide other health benefits. When planting your ulu tree, create a mulch ring or donut with a combination of compost, soil, and organic matter such as wood chips. You can also utilize branches or leaves you may already have from other plants growing on site in a technique known as chop and drop. The cost for mulching your ulu trees can vary depending on the kind of mulch you choose, the number of trees you have to mulch, and transportation of the mulch. If purchasing materials for mulching, such as wood chips, each application may cost around $35 to $45 per tree. When calculating the total cost of each mulch application, it is important to consider the time necessary to treat each tree, any additional labor you may enlist for support, and any delivery or trucking fees. We recommend reapplying mulch quarterly, depending on how quickly it decomposes or in the event it is displaced by pests such as wild pigs. Unfortunately, depending on the kinds of materials you use for mulch, pigs may be attracted to it, so ungulate protection should be considered. Be sure to mow around your mulched trees to help suppress unwanted weeds and fast-growing grasses. Weed mat. Weed mats, also known as landscape fabric, block sunlight but still allow water, nutrients, and air to pass through. Although weed mats may be a more economical weed treatment, typically $110 for 4 by 10 foot of material, including landscape staples, it can be challenging to install, maintain, and eventually remove. It is common for weeds to eventually grow through the mat, which makes it important to weed whack and mow carefully to ensure that the fabric doesn't get stuck in the equipment. Removing weed mat can also prove to be a challenge, both when it comes to cutting back the grasses that will most likely grow through the material and its disposal. The plastic mat is not recyclable or compostable and is therefore not the most environmentally sustainable weed management solution. For these reasons, our farmers do not recommend using weed mats as a first choice. Ungulate Prevention The most common ungulates encountered by farmers across Hawaii are wild pigs. Pigs are attracted to ulu trees and may scratch, eat, or rub against the tree bark causing serious damage and even tree death. Exposing the cambrium, or tree tissue, responsible for the thickening of stems and roots can also make the tree susceptible to pests and diseases that may lead to secondary health problems. Fencing. If you're able, fencing off your entire orchard or agroforest may prove to be the best use of time and money. Fencing involves building a secure enclosure around the entire perimeter of the planting site. To do this, we recommend clearing a 3-6 to six foot wide fence corridor using galvanized T-post stakes, galvanized pipe corners, and 4 foot high hog wire fencing that is pinned to the ground to prevent pigs from digging under. 
Between materials and clearing activities, fencing installation costs are generally $15 to $20 per linear foot of fence. Although costly, fencing is highly effective at keeping ungulates away from young ulu trees. Wire cages. If perimeter fencing is not viable before planting, consider two popular methods of protecting individual trees from pigs. The first and most recommended approach is wire caging. Make approximately a three foot diameter and a four feet high cage around each tree. Weed mat may be placed around the cages to provide a visual barrier from pigs as well. The cost of cages will depend on specific materials used, as well as how many trees you are caging, but generally it is around $40 per tree. It is easiest to set up cages shortly after trees are planted, as they can become difficult to maintain and adjust as the tree grows larger. Eventually, your trees will outgrow their cages and will need to be removed. Cages may create a nuisance when mowing, so this should be taken into account. But overall, cages can be an effective and economical choice that can be reused for future plantings or donated to another farmer. Tires. For those who have used tires available, this may be a particularly appealing and free pest management treatment. Carefully place tires over young trees after planting. Be sure to puncture holes in the bottom side of the tires to prevent standing water and to allow drainage. Stack multiple tires to reach protective height if necessary. It is also important to consider your plan for removing the tires before you bring them into your ulu orchard. Removing tires from mature trees can be labor intensive and require additional equipment. Some of our farmers feel that for the labor, time, and equipment necessary to remove tires once the trees have matured, tires are not the best prevention method. Check out Hawaii Ulu Co-op's other breadfruit production resources on our farmer website, ulu.coop, for more details on best practices to ensure the health and productivity of your trees. Hawaii Ulu Cooperative, farmer owned, Ina Ground.